Good morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. Today we've got animal delivery, we've got building tanks, we've got forever homes, uh, we've got snake handling maybe, and stuff like that, so we'll crack on, we'll have a good day. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me, and I shall see you in a bit. Hey, we've got animals, doo -doo -doo -doo. so not a huge order this week, just a little top up one. Um, and then we've got, well, this could be a bigger order next week, but I've got all the dry goods coming as well, he's just gone and get them to the van. Um, so I can get all these built, and then we can go and do all the stuff for the animals. Um, I did, I think we may do a little bit with um, the Savannah Monitor, maybe the Granite Spotted Python, because she's been a bit funny today, she's been out and about, so I think she wants to come out for a little bit. So uh, we'll do stuff with them today. And then um, I'll show you how the axolotls are getting on and stuff like that. What we're going to do, we're going to do a quick unboxing, show you all the animals, get them all set up. Then um, we've got little jobs to do. We've got to do some stuff with the animals. I've got to build some tanks. So we've got tons of stuff to do. So we crack on with the animals, get that sorted. I can get these tanks built. And then we can, we've got all day then to play with the animals. Okay then, it's unboxing time. So I'm a little bit whiter than what I'd like. I'm like flashing colours, I think, but we're doing our best, we're doing our best. So, we've got some tiny, 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 tiny animals in here. And we got a nice little buddy down the bottom. So, we'll show you these ones first. So these are some of the smallest little geckos in the world. Very, very small, very, very delicate. So these are pygmy sand geckos. So for scale, there's me finger. Look how tiny they are. So we've got two in there, should be a male and a female. So uh, got to keep these warm. So these will probably be collected today because they're so delicate. He's going to take them straight away and look after them uh, straight away because the stress of moving multiple places isn't the best. So uh, they're most likely to be collected today and be taken today. Um, then in here, ho, 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 we have ourselves. Oh. What? It's a little Herman's tortoise. Look how pretty his shell is. He's doing really well. Look at him. So we'll get him set up. He's going to go in the barn once just for a little bit. I think he'll be collected uh, Sunday, as long as he does everything he should. He's eating, he's pooing and doing everything. Then uh, he'll be going um, Sunday. So we'll get everybody set up. I'll put them in their tanks, boxes to keep them warm still. And then uh, we can crack on and Build some tanks, build some equipment, get the tortoises set up, and we'll be away. So in our delivery boxes, we should have... Whoa, ho, ho, we got lights. Oh, yes, we got lights. What's in here? I've got two sets. What was he sent me four? I didn't order four. Oh, no, I ordered three. There might be a spare one in here. Whoa, 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 because this is for our lizard in the shop. Yes, it is. Oh, so we've got to install this today, so that's going to be fun. Whoa. Come on, open up, open up. Yes, it's the third one, but it looks different. Ah, it's the bottom, that's the top. Ha, ha, ha. Then in this bad boy, we should have all the rest of the gubbins we need to finish these enclosures, get them all ready for the customers, and get animals inside. So we should have, yes, we've got thermostats. We've got Shade Dweller UV kits. And... We've got ceramic bulb holders. Hello? How are you doing? Out and about today. I have to admit, she has the coolest looking face out of all the snakes that we have in the shop at the moment. I think she looks so cool. Real prehistoric head. What I believe as well, in the storybook the jungle book this is the snake which is um the snake that tries to eat mowgli 
Shere Khan maybe, I think that's what the snake was called. But uh, I believe it was a carpet python. I may be wrong, but I believe it was a carpet python. So I believe this is the one that was in the movie. Well, not this snake, but this species of snake. Oh, we're talking to him too much. He's like, no, no, you've just looked at me too much now. You've had enough. So we'll leave him to it. And then we'll chill out for the rest of the day. Oh, it's tortoise time. It's tortoise time. So I have put new substrate in there for him. So I've done him a little clean out. Someone just fresh as a daisy for him. You know what I mean? New bedding, new tortoise. So uh, they would do a clean anyway. So we've got fresh bedding in there for him. It's all lovely jubbly. He's like, can he's out front? He's off. He's like, no, Alex, you cannot look at me. So we've got our lovely little horse, Hermans. So we're going to release him into the tank and he can chill with our horse fields for a little bit. And then uh, on Sunday, he'll be collected and going to his forever home. But I believe his tank is getting collected today, I think. Can you let go with the tissues? There you go, little dude. What do you think? So you've got your lovely, lovely, we've got baby spinach today. Baby spinach. So you enjoy, go friends, make friends with Lumpy Bumpy and Alfred, and then uh, you can have a good day. We'll have to think of a name for you. Think of a name, maybe. Well, well, wasn't expecting this. Fish have arrived. <laughs> so we've got two big fish order boxes all arrived, so, well, um, I've got some work to do, so I'm gonna have to move all these tanks out of the way. I need to I need to build another tank. I've got to quickly build another tank. <laughs> then I'm gonna have to sort out all the fish. Oh my god, it's all manic. So the fish will be alright for a little bit in the bags. So I'm gonna have to quickly build this other tank, then we'll have to jump on the fish. Oh manic, manic, manic. But we get the fish, yes! We've got tanky problems, so it's come damaged in places, so that's not up to scratch. So, brand new suppliers, they're gonna send me some new ones. So that means we can dive on the fishes. So, let's start opening fishes, see what we've got, see what we can start doing. Okay, so, fishy box number one. Let's see what we got. Oh, absolutely manic this morning. It's still not even 12 o'clock, and we are absolutely manic. I still got around to turn some of the lights on. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 me list of goodies. List of goodies. Okie dokie there. Hot water bottle. Oh, 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 baby. Okay. See, we've got the first bag. Hoplo catfishes. So our hoplos are going to go in here. I'll just close the lid on them a little bit so they don't fall over. And there we go. We leave them to sit and chill. And we'll go on to the next bag of fishes. So I can tell there's something big in there. Not sure what it is, but it's big and black. Um, so, oh, I've just seen something really cool. Okay, uh, let's do this one. Oh, we've got our male blue dwarfed gouramis. Oh, they look very pretty. They, m they sh might be the females. I'll have to double check with the next bag. For our next one, our next goodies. Oh, I can see them, they're really, really cool. Okay, uh, what's in this one? Oh, we got albino hoplos. Little bit different, little bit cool. They can go in with the other hoplos. Oh, oh, oh. I can't wait to get what's in there. There's some really cool stuff down here as well. Um, okay, I've got to be careful. Okay, what's we got in here? We've got neons. We've got one fatality though. One fatality. Oh, little neons. Yeah, definitely one fatality. Oh, poor bloke. Oh, 
our next ones. Oh, I'm absolutely so excited about some of them. Um, we get, oh, I don't want to see the good stuff yet. We don't want to save. We need to save the good stuff. So we've got some lovely albino plex bristle noses. Lovely, lovely. So they can go in here with our albino bristle noses. Then we have. I've got to be careful now because he's going to start falling, and these are really, really cool. Okay. Okay, calm down, fishes. Wait. Car no, Harlequins. Harlequins. Bit washed out, but uh, that's what they look like after a bit. Oh, okay. Some of these I've bought instead of fighters. So uh, we might be putting them in the fighter tanks. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think I'm going to try and save them a little bit longer. Gotta be careful, I don't want the bags to fall over. No, 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 no. I think you might have seen him while he was in there. We have mountain minnows. Mountain minnows. Okay, I think this is a cool one. Whoa, look at him go. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I'm okay. So this is a tire track eel. He's going a little bit mental at this moment. I'm okay, mate. Calm down. So we'll get him in his tank and then he can chill out. Okay, so what's we got in this one? Oh, we've got some little jewelry, jewel quarries. We likes them ones. Our next lot of fishes. Okay, I think those are quite, I like these ones. These are quite comical, these ones are. Ah, balloon mollies. We likes balloon mollies. I ain't had balloon mollies in the shop yet. First lot of balloon mollies. I think they're so comical. Okay, our next lot. Oh, blue platters. Oh, very nice. Okay, I think I'm going to show you some of the good ones. We got figure of eight puffers. Look how cool they are. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in a tank on their own or put them in a tank with uh, a bunch of them. I haven't decided yet. But uh, we've got quite a few of them. I think we've got four so far, so I'll leave them for a sec. Glass catfishes, lovely. What else we got in here? Penguin tetra. Okay, we've got a really, really good one. What's we got in here? Everything gonna stay? Oh yes. Oh, it's either cardinals or the green wild ne ne uh, neons. I'll have to double check, they're so small, they haven't coloured up yet. So you've seen the puffers, we've got the last one, with this box. Whoa, that's not what I ordered. Oh yeah, they are, they're the little piranhas. Ah, it's the piranhas, I forgot about it, it's the piranhas. Ah, oh, look how cool they are, little baby piranhas. So uh, we've got to set them up in a tank, and then uh, I believe one of these is going to be their tank. I think that one. So uh, we put all our piranhas in here. So we've got six yellow belly piranhas. How cool is that? Ah. So the idea was, I was hoping they'd come in a good size, but they haven't. If they come in a big size, they were going to go in there. But they've come in like this. So they're in there. That box done, we move on to box number two. Okay, so we're on to the last box. It's a small one, which I'm extremely glad about because we are running out of space. Oh, I really need to do better at counting what I've got and ordering stuff. Because I just go, I'm just like, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I didn't even check if I needed room. Oh, but it's cool stuff. The other box of gubbins. So, I've, in, in between doing all this, I've lost the good blade. So, we're trying to use the knife. And it doesn't want to do nothing. It says no. Alex, no, you're not allowed in. No. Oh, the phone, the phone. She wants a tortoise, she wants a tortoise. Okay, so we're back to it, back to it. Let me in, Box. Let me in. Oh my God, please. They're my fishes. Let me have my fishes. Okay, so I don't think we've got many. Oh, we got, we got, bug, we got, we got bagos. Oh, we got bagos, Snake Island bagos. Yes, please. We've got, oh, we got a box. We got a box. What have we got in here? That didn't work. Oh, 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 okay, hot water bottle. 
Double check. Yep, no fishes. Um, okay, nice and steady. Steady, Eddie. Ooh. So we've got some fighters. Oh, look at that bad boy. And you, look how stunning. Wow. Absolutely wow. Black orchid. Oh. Okay, what else? We've got to do the other fighters. Oh. Oh, wow. He's orange. Oh my god, he's blooming orange. Wow, wow, wow. You are not too shabby either, sir. Whoa, whoa! Where did you come from? What? What? Oh my days, these are some nice fighters. He is exquisite. Oh my god. So once we've done this, we'll go through and we'll start uh, releasing and sorting out a lot of the fishes. Oh, it's the females. So those were the males we had first. So these are our lovely females. They can go with the males. Should happen in theory, they should all pair up. And then um, we'll be selling them off in pairs, well, in twos. Spagos, I believe we've got shrimps. So we've got redo shrimps. Oh, look at that. Redo shrimps. And then in this one, I believe we've got blue ones. Cobalt blue. Oh, yes. Lovely blue shrimp. Can't get a very good view of them. There they are, blue shrimpies. Okay, so that's everybody in and floating. I'm going to quickly run, turn all the lights off. Then I'm going to do acclimations and then... I'll turn the lights on for a little second at the end so we can see the fishes when I release them. Before we start with the fishes, let's see what we've got in our box. I know what's in the box, but we've got to show you and I. have got a different one in so you can get an idea of what they can do. So, you'll understand what I mean in a minute. We did one the other day in a Christmas tree form sort of thing. But this one is meant to be a, whatever that is, type of tree. <laughs> so, are we ready? It's very, very delicate, so I have to be very careful with it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's untape this and I'll show you what it looks like. There we go, that's the back, that's the front. It's the lovely trees. You can get some aquatic moss. You can put that over it. I'll just take this off for now so you can get a better look. Oh, come on, come off. There we go. So that's what it looks like. Lovely, lovely fake tree. You could have in your aquarium or your reptile tank. Uh, you'd use fake moss in the reptile tank and you'd probably use some real aquatic moss in an aquarium. So that's the one type. This is the other, but they do do multiple different ones of the different trees. So there's also ash, cinder, conifer, oak, willow, beech, wilt, chestnut, elm, and sycamore. Sycamore, sycamore, whee! What I do have is on that one tank we use the white uh, moss. Special moss is the reindeer moss, but it's been dyed green. So it wouldn't be good, you wouldn't be able to use this on your, when your animals because it's dyed green. So if I mess with this enough, it's gonna dye my hands green. But for a nice little ornament or something like that on the side, you could cover that in there for something to sit on your windowsill or something like that and it'd look really, really good. And you wouldn't have to do anything with it because it just stays forever. I've done a lot of the acclimating now. I've still got a couple to do, but we're starting to release a couple now. So uh, I'll show you the ones I'm releasing. In Tetris. They're going to join their group of other penguins. Come on everybody, penguin time! We like the penguins because they like to school and we like schooling fish. So they do really well. We've also got our albino plecos. Come on then everybody. Whee, lovely job. Time for our lovely balloon mollies. Hello everybody, boom! That's a nice goldy one. 
Oh, lovely pretty fishes. They've got some nice little mix in there. I'm happy with that. Look at that. Time for our males. I've just released the females. There wasn't enough room to do both. So, uh, oh, come on, switch the bag around. Come on, there we go. So we should better release our males now. There we go. So we've got our males and we've got our little tiny females. Catfish time, so we've got our little hopplers. Everybody, everybody out. Come on, everybody. Whee, there we go. Lovely job. Then we have our albinos, which are gonna join the crew. Yes, lovely job. Nice little crew of hoplo catfishes. Jewel Corys. Come on, Corys, everybody out. Come on then. Last two, last one, you can do it. Find a hole, he's found a hole. There we go. Shrimps have been knocked over. So half the shrimps have escaped. We've got a couple to release. I don't know. Come on then, everybody out. Escaping when they're not meant to, naughty shrimps. But there we go, we've got loads of shrimps. Look at that one. Whoa. That one is stunning. Lovely shrimp. The tire track. Eel has escaped. He's down the bottom, hiding away. Oh well. We're getting to a couple of escapees now, naughty fishes. Had a fight to escape. Look at that. Black orchid, absolutely stunning. So here we have, we've got a nup oh, red, solid red. Oh come on. There we go. I've got to double check all my names on these ones. Oh, because I've only put the initials on there. So I'm going to have to go through and double check what the initials are. But that's a stunning fighter. Sulking a little bit at the moment because obviously they've been in the bag, so we do this one next. CT, we know what that means, that's crown tail. There he is, whoa, of all these colours. We've got a tiny bit of plastic from the bag. We'll get that out. There we go, but look at the colours on him. Look at the water is, I have topped them up, so the water is sorting itself out at the moment. So it's a little bit extra bubbly. Oh, shrimp pose, come on then shrimp pose, up we go. Ooh, lovely job. Everybody out? Yes, that's everybody. Lovely job. We likes the shrimp pose. Okay, it's piranha time, piranha time. Okay, so there is some paper in the bag we're gonna get out. That just makes it darker for them. I'm just gonna slowly lift it over and then give them the chance to swim out. There we go, one more, oh, another one, another last one. There he goes. So there's all our lovely piranhas. Absolutely loving it. So we've got six yellow belly piranhas. So you have to get a good amount of them because they can accidentally bite each other. So see that one's got a little nip on his head. So they can, that's where you have a good mix of them. So if they accidentally bite each other, they don't smash each other. So we leave them in here to chill now. And then they, as soon as everything's done, I'll turn all the lights off. It's figure of eight puffer time. Lads, so I believe each one of them's got slightly different markings. So we've got our first little dude. There he is. Hello, my friend. You ready for your buddies to come out? Oh, yes. Come on, then. Out you come. Hey. We have number three. Way up. Last but not least, I think he's the biggest one. Oh, well, you got to get out of the bag. There we go. So our lovely little puffers. 
living our best lives. Lovely. The glass catfishes. Way proper job. Have the Harlequins. Oh, there we go. We need to find a fish called the Joker, don't we? And we need to have the Joker and Harlequins in the same tank. Ha ha. We've got our blue platters. Oh, with our last red one. We have our special wild green neon tetras, I believe. I mean, the little nano tank on the tail. So we'll just give them a little bit of a release. There we go. There you go, there's all the fishes. So I'll get the light turned on, you can have a look. Every home time for the tortoises, so it's Alfred's time, so Alfred's under here. Excuse me, Lumpy Bumpy. Where's Alfred? There he is, right next to a fresh piece of poo. Good old Alfred, there he is, hello Alfred. Oh, look at that fresh piece of poo, you can leave that behind. There we go, leave the poo behind, we don't need that. Come on Alfred, let go of your poo. There we go. So there's Alfred in his little travelling box, ready to go to his forever home. There we go. See you in a bit Alfred, he's a good lad. Oh, so all well, after a crazy day, we're all done, basically. So. Everybody's in, everybody's happy, everybody's doing really well. Oh. So yeah, they're all doing really well. So what I'm doing now, I'm doing water changes on the axolotls. So uh, I've just done these ones. I'll do the last four and then um, we can feed them all. So uh, that's what we'll, we'll do for the last little bit. We'll feed all the axolotls and then uh, we have lost the one or, do, one or two, but we've still got a very, very large amount. Um, but yeah, we're doing really, really well. Here we go, all the water changes are done and all our little baby axolotls. So now we should be able to give them all a little feed. See that I've lost some in, I've put the new number on there. So we've lost two out of this one so far, but I think we are doing really well. There we go, nice bit of food. There we go. Next one, do do do. On the bottom row. Come on, the last two, whoop, and boom, boom. So it's everybody all fed up. Living out nice. So in the next couple of days, they'll start developing their legs and then they shall be all separated off into their own tubs. Well then everybody, that's all the time I've got for today. Please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. If you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. If you want to help me and support the animals, the rescues and all that stuff, there's a link in the description below. If you want to see where I get my animals from, there's also a link in the description below. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.